What's up, YouTube? First video ever. Um, this is my car, 2000 Maxima. Trying to, trying to be low. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be uh, aligning the car because it has cheeks alignment. Because I just lowered it more, slotting the front coilovers and lowering it more. Hopefully, we don't break my trans pan. Let's get on with it. Huh? Yo! Yo, come here. I feel like it's buckling my fender though. Is this gonna buckle my fender? Oh, we're good, we're good. Guys, I don't know if you saw that. Make friends with neighbors. Leave it them at all times. You saw I tried to hide the jack, the HOA. Three notices, and we've been fine for working on a car on the driveway. Look at the setup, bro. We have to block this out, and look at all the cars that are around us trying to hide it all. We can't be caught. <laughs> so you saw me, I took the thing out so it doesn't look like we're working on the car. But I gotta keep jacking enough. Now, we have the side raised up, and this is a little off the ground. We can start taking the wheels off, and uh, start getting aligned. I don't know if we're gonna, I think we're gonna align it first, and then slot it next. So, stay tuned. Well, not good news, guys. Um, there's scrape marks on my trans pan. Um, it's not bad. It's like one scrape. I have an idea of when I did it. Um, there's a bunch of... This is almost wear down to making a hole in it. This is the... I don't know if you guys can see the, all the dents in this, but this is, I don't even know what this is, bro. It's some part of my exhaust. Uh, my frame scrapes a lot. I'm not even sure how I hit my trans. Um, it looks like a minor scrape of the edge. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm retarded. There's like, I'm almost scraped through my trans. I'm dead serious. Uh, so, after further review, it's not terrible. I'll show you guys. Um, so, I don't know if you guys can see in here, but that's my bumper. Oh, this is my bumper and if we go down further you see right there that's my trans as you see like right where it's focused on that's where I'm scraping luckily the metal is very thick and like you can see where I that's my frame that's I lay frame all the time but we're not sure if that point is lower than this the trans where it's scraping right there so After we found that, I don't think we're going to lower it in the front anymore. We're just going to do an alignment, but we're still going to slot it, which should raise the car up a little bit, which means we might lower it a little bit more. But we'll know after we do the alignment and slot it. So, yeah, that's something that we have to keep in mind is that I'm scraping my trans. On this car, the oil pan is not even a concern. So I'll show you the oil pan. The oil pan right there the black box right there and it's like tucked under like my exhaust my trans pen my frame everything so that's nothing to worry about um my axle should be perfectly fine with the camera because i literally just replaced them um because i broke both of them lowering it but that's where we're at and then we're gonna start we're gonna just gonna start the alignment right now all right so we're just gonna take the wheel off obviously um, we just got this very nice impact. Oh my goodness uh, Buy one go on free deal at uh, Home Depot or buy batteries get a tool free so Yeah, we're gonna take the wheel off And inspect to see if I have any damage and then probably slot it um, um Since this is my first video you guys have like no idea what I've done to my car um I did do a ride-along 
but you guys can check that out if you want. But um, I have Godspeed coilovers with Swift's uh, 24k Swift springs in the front, and I have 22s in the back. So, um, I'm obviously riding stiffer, but I feel like I could be stiffer and help my trans pan out. But I'm running Nismo um, Ray wheels. I don't know. I want to say they're 57CR. I don't know. I actually don't know. Yet. CR. Um, you see the camera right though? Low key. I might have gotten. Oh, I already started towing it. I accidentally started. Look, you can do it hand. We don't have to align it anymore. Because if you see. These bushings are cooked. Okay, so one thing you know, you guys don't know, but when I accelerate, my car shakes, and we all we thought it because we was the alignment it was really bad, because both of the wheels are towed out, um, this way. So we thought it just like was uneven, but looking at the bushing, like if it accelerates, it's obviously gonna shake, which would shake the wheel. So watch, I literally I wasn't even like doing anything. Like, I literally just went to put this on and move it, and I went like this. Like, I'm not even moving anything else. That's also shaking back here, which is, like, it would obviously shake when I move the car. So, I think all we're going to do today is slot it. So, I'm going to have to order new um, toe arms. Is that what it's called? Toe arms and bushings. So, yeah. We don't have to align it today, and we don't lower it because it's already low enough. So, uh, if you guys look, um, I'm dumb and didn't get helper swings, so I probably cooked my uh, shocks. And so, now I'm going to be honest, I really don't care what I do to my car, because the, sh uh, the shocks are cooked. And so, I mean, what else am I going to do with Maxima coilovers in the future? So, um... I'm going to slot it, and then we'll see how much camera we can get out of it. I'm not trying to go big tilt because my alignment's cheeks, and I want my, I don't want my axles to break because this is my daily. So, yeah, we're going to see what we can do.